New threats coming from China in the wake of taking down a suspected Chinese spy balloon. Now, there's still no word from the White House on exactly what type of unidentified flying objects were shot down over parts of the U.S. Fox's Jillian Turner is at the White House where there's still no indication when President Biden might speak on this matter. China's threatening the U.S. agencies responsible for downing and recovering a suspected Chinese spy balloon off the Carolina coast earlier this month. The United States has insisted on the use of force, overreacted and escalated the situation and used it as a pretext to illegally sanction Chinese enterprises and institutions. China firmly opposes this and will take countermeasures in accordance with the law. China's foreign ministry spokesperson made the vague threat Wednesday without giving details about the countermeasures or identifying who precisely they want to retaliate against. With tensions already high between the two countries, American officials have now sanctioned six Chinese entities linked to Beijing's aerospace programs this following the February 4th incident. The communist country says the U.S. is overreacting, claiming the balloon was an unmanned weather airship accidentally blown off course. They made the choice to fly this balloon over the continent. United States. And it was a deliberate choice on their part. There are any major consequences. Right now, some of the payload from the balloon is being examined by teams at the FBI lab in Quantico, Virginia. It's clear our defense and intelligence agencies remain laser focused on gathering every piece of information about what happened over U.S. and a Canadian airspace. This comes as the White House remains silent on exactly what types of unidentified flying objects were shot down over Alaska, Canada, and Lake Huron since Friday. Administration officials say there is no evidence they were part of China's spy program. Pentagon and White House officials tell Fox News they have been aware of China's espionage program for months. They also insist that they briefed lawmakers about it back in August. At the White House, Jillian Turner, Fox 26 News.